guys, it's almost Christmas time and in the spirit of all things Christmassy and festive, I thought that I would do a tutorial for you using kind of Christmas themed colours, so reds, burgundies, greens for kind of like a Christmas party look. To create the look I'm going to be using a MAC palette that I compiled myself, which is this one, and um, so the colours are Club, Sketch, Antiqued and Sumptuous Olive. Um, if you wanted a drugstore alternative, we have found this one from Wet n Wild, which is the, I think it's the right? Color Icon Comfort Zone palette, and it's got a lot of greens and a nice kind of rusty color down here as well, which is fantastic. And, you know, we're both huge fans of Wet n Wild. The consistencies of the powders are great, and they're really pigmented, and they last for a really long time without any need for a primer. Okay, so I've already done my base. I've mixed together some Dior BB Cream and the Stila Bronzing Beauty Balm. And I've done my eyebrows and I've concealed under my eyes and highlighted. So to start, I'm going to be taking Sumptuous Olive and I'm going to have it all across the eye right up to the crease. And next I'm going to take a bit of club and I'm going to go right kind of in the outer third of my eye and I'm going to smoke it out a little bit. Club is a really lovely colour because even though it looks quite kind of blue, it's got a lot of brown shot through it and when you blend it out, the brown really shows itself and it is just, it's gorgeous, it's a really versatile colour and I love using it. Next I'm going to take a bit of club and I'm going to run it under my eye on a little Eco Tools pencil brush. Next I'm going to take a mix of Sketch and Antiques and I'm going to blend it into the outer corner of my eye. Sketch is more of a kind of a plummy colour whereas Antique is more of a russety really bronze and they complement each other beautifully and I just really enjoy this colour palette I think it's beautiful more of, winter, more of a wintry palette I think but great for this sort of festive tutorial next I'm going to take just a little bit of sketch and also just put it under the lash line here but only a teeny tiny bit kind of the outer part just to tile the colours together underneath the eye as well. Next I'm just going to take a bit of um, this colour from Stila, which is Kitten, kind of their iconic cult shimmery uh, nude, and I'm going to run it just under the brows and also just in the corners of my eyes. I thought I would just add a little touch of gold to just the center of the eye here and for that I'm going to use this pigment from the MAC Divine Night Collection and this is in the Color Museum Bronze. The pigments are very very loose and also very very pigmented so you only need a teeny tiny little bit and I'm going to just pop it right into the center there to bring lights to the center of my eye. I'm going to try and not mess it everywhere. Wow, that's really pretty. To line the eyes, I'm going to use a combination of purple and black eyeliner. Um, the purple one is this one from MAC, which is their PowerPoint eye pencil in the colour Bordeaux line, which is a beautiful kind of rich plummy purple. I'm just going to trace that all along the lash line and then I'll blend it in. 
some black liner just on the outer corner and smoke it out a little bit just to make the eyes appear a bit wider and for that I'm going to be using the new Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner in Raven. These are fantastic. They've got a built-in sharpener. Julia's written about them on the blog. So they've got a built-in sharpener and a cap so every time you take it off you have a perfectly sharp eyeliner. It's genius. I don't know why it took someone so long to come up with this but well done Smashbox. So I'm going to take that just here. These are really creamy and they're waterproof as well, so you can use them um, on the waterline and they shouldn't budge. Next I'm going to just pop a bit of green liner into my waterline and for that I'm going to use another MAC pencil which is the uh, Technicol liner in Uniform, which is kind of a khaki green. Um, a cheap alternative would be a brand like NYX that I know also has beautiful kind of olive green Liners, also Stila does them, Smashbox. Next I'm going to pop on some mascara and for that I'm going to use the Max Factor False Lash Effect Fusion Mascara which I've used before and I'm loving. And I'm going to also use a little bit of the Clinique Bottom Lash on my bottom lashes. So I'm going to give them a cool and get cracking. cheeks I'm going to be using a bit of this Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in the colour Blushed Rose. I don't want anything too pink or girly, I want it to be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to use my fingers and tap it in and just blend it. Onto the lips, I'm going to be using a combination of MAC products. Uh, the first one is this lipstick, which is uh, Viva Glam 5, it's a luster finish, which Julia's mentioned in her favourites and I've also mentioned in my top 5 favourite lipsticks. And then over the top of that, I'm going to put a little bit of this cream sheen glass, which is also from the Divine Nights lip gloss collection, which I bought, and this colour is called On The Scene, it's beautiful. I promise this video isn't sponsored by MAC, I've just noticed that everything basically is MAC, but for the purposes of this look, they were perfect. So that's the finished look. This is my kind of Christmas party look. I think it would work really well in the evenings. Um, for a night out, it doesn't have to be specifically for a Christmas party, but um, I just really think the colours work really well together. And um, like I said, you can get this um, the Sweet and Wild dupe, which has a lot of, it's basically the same palette. It's got all of the same colours and it's a fraction of the price and the shadows are still excellent quality, so you can look into that. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, just let us know.